Hey everybody, um, doing some videos here so we can uh, get our MATLAB and Arduinos to talk to each other. So first thing we want to do is bring up our good old uh, Arduino program, red, green, LED. Uh, I've got it here. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you've already made this, but just to make sure everything is there. Setup, we have serial.begin9600, pin mode, 16 and 14 outputs, and then we are looking for something to come into the serial buffer. Um, and again, <clears throat> make sure you have this as a character, A. So again, we're just looking to see if is anything in the buffer. If it is, then read it, print it out, and then look for the letters, oh, sorry, Look for the letters F, B, L, R. F turns on the red LED, B turns it off. L turns the green LED on, R turns that off. Make sure you got all that there. So uh, that should be uh, uploaded to your Arduino board. Everything ready to go. Um, let's go over to the MATLAB side. And what we're going to do here is if we've never, I'm not sure if we've done a GUI before or not, but anyway, what we're going to do, go to your command window, type the word guide, and you should be creating a new GUI, blank GUI. Now, uh, then go ahead and say OK. I have already created one, so I'm just going to bring mine back up. Okay, and what you do, um, we're going to create two push buttons. So drag your push button thing over and put it somewhere here. Um, change it to whatever size you want. Um, and that's how you create a push button. Now I'm going to delete this one just because I've already created two more. Anyway, so create two push buttons. Double click on the push button and you'll get all of its attributes. So I'm going to make the, since this one I want to control my red LED, I'm going to change the background color to red. And very important, make the tag, the tag is the unique identifier for that push button. So I'm going to call the tag red PB here and hit enter. And then for the string, I want the string to say red LED. So I come up here, type the word red LED, say OK. It should show up right there. When you do, you should see red LED show up on your push button. And that's all we got to do for this one. Go to the next one, double click it, make it a green background color. So just pick your green background color and go down give it the tag of green PB and give it the string of green LED and when you do that again your background color should be green you should see the word green LED and we're all good then you guys go ahead and click on save okay and what happens is that you actually create two files um, let me go and I'll just show you what gets created here okay so here we've just created two files red green LED dot fig which is the GUI and we don't adjust that. We don't mess with that one at all. And then there's red green LED dot M, which is this file here. And uh, let's go through this. Okay, all of the first stuff we don't bother with. Right up to the point where MATLAB says end initialization code, do not edit. So don't touch anything above that. Now, MATLAB creates four functions. One is called opening function and here's where we're going to put this is similar to setup in Arduino okay so <clears throat> right about here is the last line so here's what we're going to add into our 
opening function. This ha the opening function, all of this gets uh, initialized before the user sees the GUI. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the word delete, instrafind, and then curly brackets, port, comma, ah. Uh. Now, let me run over real quick and let me look at my Arduino code. My Arduino code shows that I'm on port 42, so I have to go change this. Okay, because I had done this before with COM73. So now I'm going to put this on COM port 42. Okay, I'm going to create two global variables. One's called A, one's called S. S is going to be this, the uh, variable for the serial port. Once again, I have to change this to 42 to match the Arduino code. Um, just give you a little hint here. Notice that I've commented out another thing that says S equals TCP IP, blah, 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 blah. Uh, maybe when we get down the road, we'll see that code come up when we're doing Wi-Fi. Okay, so, um, okay, now also too, notice it's got red pushback, red push button callback. Now, callback occurs whenever you push the button. So when you push the button, this function gets activated. So what I'm doing is I'm saying global S, global A. I'm bringing the two global variables back into this function. And I say, this is interesting, uh, or just watch. If A equals zero, file write S to COM42, the letter F, and then change A to one. Otherwise, if A was already 1, file write S, B, and then change A to 0. So if you see what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is toggling whether the button is on or off. If it's off, which is 0, turn it on and send an F to Arduino. Otherwise, if it's already on, send a B to Arduino, which turns the red LED off, and then change A to zero. Okay, and uh, for the green pushback button, similar, create my two variables. And again, <clears throat> this time, uh, if A is zero, write an L, and then switch A to one, meaning now it's on. Otherwise, send an R, and turn our Arduino off, okay? So let us see if this works. So I'm going to run my program. There's my LEDs. And so I hit run, and you see down here that it's running. There's my little function, there's my two push buttons. So if I hit red, ta-da, it turns on. If I hit it again, it turns off. I turn green, ta-da, turns on, turns off. Okay, cool, nice. All right, so go ahead and run that, and hopefully that works for you as well. Um, let's spruce this up a bit. Um, let It would be nice if our GUI showed us the... Um, the status, you know, like, here's what I'd like. I would like the red push button to turn red when the LED is on, and I'd like it to turn gray if the LED is off. So let's take a look and see what we can do about that. Um, let's see, I have written another program. I believe I'm going to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here, set handles dot red. I'm doing this on the fly. I'm hoping this works. Red PB um, background color. Uh, no, I think that has to be in quotes. And 
and then I'm going to say red. Else, I'm going to highlight this, copy and paste it, bring it down. Set handle ready to be. White. Uh, I'm going to run down here and do the same. Well, to um, green. Okay, let's try this. Well, I didn't get an error message. That's good. Usually I won't until I actually try it. All right, so red on. Ah, it worked. Okay, so when it's off, it goes green. Uh, oh, my green didn't work. Maybe I didn't do something right. Oh, because I, all right, I see what I did. I, take a look. See down here, I when I copied it, I didn't change it to green. No problem. Whoops. In fact, also what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something. Um, I know a little trick. This actually gives me the color gray. So rather than saying white, what I'm doing is I say, I want this much red, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that. Let's see how that works. Okay. Whoops. Doesn't like it. Does What did it not like? 99. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Oh, we got a comma right there. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. MATLAB is a great debugger, if I haven't mentioned that. Okay, let's see what we get this time. Let me press my red on, and we go to gray. I like that much better. Green on, green off. Okay, very good. Okay, so here we go. All works nice. All works great. Perfect. Okay, now here's what I would like for you guys to do. Um, 101 change modify this code and do something else um, turn on a tone generator do something you know things like that play a song okay um, okay then then uh, that's it all right thank you much